Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with Creo Parametric 5.0 and what is new for sheet metal conversion. So we will start from scratch and we will create new 3D model and I will create some geometry. So sketch plane will be for example top and really quick shape. So you can see that I'd like to make some design study. And for example, we would like to create a draft feature for that surface. And you know that it's necessary to select draft hinge. If you don't know how to use the draft feature, check my previous tutorials and you will learn more. And I will continue. And for example, again, with my design study, I'd like to create some shell feature and we'll select some surfaces which will be removed here. And with specification in the reference tab, you can define the known default thickness. What does it mean? You can select the surface and the selected surface will be defined with different thickness. Okay, so it looks good. And maybe we miss some rounds. So over here, I like to create these rounds. Okay, so it was a really quick design study and I said, whoops, but I like to use the sheet metal. But we have uh, two different surfaces. It is possible to create a, and convert to sheet metal. With Creo Parametric 5.0, you can select Operation and Convert to Sheet Metal and select the driving surface. You can see here that it is possible to select any surface from the model and the system will check the thickness and you can specify a new value. So for example, 25 will be new thickness, but I like to use the thickness for all surfaces. No problem. In references, select include surfaces and with control button add another individual surfaces. If you change the thickness, for example, to 20, the system will apply the same thickness for selected surfaces. If you confirm OK, the system show you some troubleshooter note. You can read it, but no problem. Only confirm OK and the system will convert this 3D model to sheet metal. And for example, you can see here that it's possible to use the standard sheet metal features like flat, flange and so on. Or you can use the unbent. Yeah. So over here, you can see it was possible to create unbent and very quickly what is new with Creo 5.0 again over here in the flat pattern preview is the possible to create and see how it will be looks as a unbended features and over here is new function create instance the first one with Creo 2, 3, 4 was create a function create instance. So the system creates for you the family table member. And right now it's the possible to create representation. So we have only one 3D model and two representation of the visualization. So I will create it and how you can change it and see the representation in the view manager. It's the possible to jump to the simplify representation you have a master, it means bend it, and in sheet metal, flat state, it's the this one. So in the drawing, you can switch between this representation and you have save it and store it only one model, for example, in the windshield database. Yeah. So thanks for your time. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.